welcome to this channel subscribe to this channel to get more tutorials this is a complete tutorial here you will get learn how to install PHP on Ubuntu or Linux how to configure VS code for PHP programming and how to run PHP script on Visual Studio code and so on by following its official documentation let's get started for linux user open terminal and check whether php install or not on your system with this command php hyphen hyphen version if you don't have install it on your system you will find a command and then use this command to install php okay Now open another terminal and create a directory with this command and navigate to this directory by cd. Now open this directory in visual studio code by this command code space dot and then hit enter or you can directly open this directory from visual studio code go to file then open folder now open php project directory okay now open web browser and go to Visual Studio Code official documentation and select the topic PSP. Visual Studio Code is a great editor for PSP development. Now go to settings and search for PSP and then select PSP. Now enable PHP suggest basic and PHP validate enable and then click on edit in settings.json to set the PHP executable path. Now go to terminal and type this command where is PHP. copy this line and paste here okay now save this file and select on save on php validate run okay now create a new file inside php project name it index.php and write a simple php script here okay Now save this file. Now install PHP extension support by Visual Studio Code.
install PHP IntelliFence. Okay, and also install PHP server. Okay. Now you can run PHP script from Visual Studio Code directly. Okay. Now right click on your PHP file and then click on PHP server, serve project. And you will see a message hello world visual studio code includes a set of common snipes for PHP to access this hit control plus space to get a context specific list Okay. Now reload this script. Okay. You will find here four commands serving project command reloading server command and open file in browser command and stop server command server stopped it now reload and you will see unable to connect if you like this video like comment and share thank you so much for watching this video